starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You're listening to the New Investor Podcast. This is the Young Investor for the New Investor Podcast, and it is 5.30 a.m. on a Sunday. I never used to be up so early on a Sunday. I never used to know what 5.30 a.m. even looked like. It has now become a daily routine. I love and enjoy being up so early before work. I have two precious hours before leaving for the two results I look after, my teams and my guests. Two hours during which I can focus on laying another brick for my future, continue writing uh, that other book, make another podcast episode and catch up on some investing uh, research. We must all know why we wake up in the morning. While you can still easily wake up at decent hours to go perform uh, your uh, regular duties uh, still with love and passion, there is no comparison to that source of energy that fires you up uh, to rise to pursue a purpose, your purpose. If I had to detail what uh, my purpose is, what really fires me up in the morning, it would come down to a very simple one to my eyes, significantly transform my financial future and document this journey day to day for others who are hungry to do the same. This might seem like a grand objective, it may seem like it is easier said than done, but I am convinced that the more grand your goals are, the more chances you have to reach them because you have to stretch yourself. And I did not use to believe it, um, you know, in general that uh, things like that were possible until I have seen it happen. Just refer back to 25, 30 or even 45 episodes down the line. I built wealth since. Once you start to believe it is possible that you can do this, then it becomes a moral obligation as a human being to pursue that purpose. It means that you are yet to reach your full potential and you cannot possibly live your life the same way uh, while knowing you can uh, reach uh, such heights for yourself. There are plenty of motivational videos out there. You can sit and listen to them if that actually makes you feel better. But the exceptional people delivering their messages uh, to you are admirable for sure, but they will be unable to help you in a practical way or tell you a step-by-step process to achieve your dreams. I firmly believe that building wealth is a practical way into personal development. There is another side to this that goes beyond money. Uh, The concept of building wealth entails that you have managed to radically change your lifestyle, reduced uh, your debt, saved and invested those savings. There are tangible milestones which are a very solid solid start uh, to your uh, transformation, I believe. I can tell you all day that you you must believe in yourself, that you can do it, that you should rise like a champion. Not practical, really. What I can do, however, is show you how I will do this. I will podcast it, I will write it down every step of the way until I reach freedom so that hopefully if I succeed, I would have managed to prove a crucial aspect of success that it can be done by anyone provided you start the process. Building wealth changes you and funny things start happening. You start seeing opportunities arise, you're safer uh, while facing the world, you look uh, at your own capabilities with a different angle, you start doing things because you believe they can be done. Your mindset will start changing with every dollar of wealth you build. How to start building wealth? You will hear that it is about um, taking command of your mind so you can make the choices that would change your life. I would tell you, stop right now. Every expenses that are not classified as an absolute need for survival. I would tell you how to save 5000 dollars in four months. Go back a few episodes. I did talk about that. I would tell you after four months what I would do with these five thousand dollars and actually build wealth. This is practical. This is real and taking command of your mind will occur once you have reached uh, that first milestone. It will happen by itself. It could be two thousand, five thousand or ten thousand dollars. Once you reach that first milestone your life will start to change. Those motivational videos are however 
based on pushing one to start, uh, to make that first step. It is unbelievable the amount of resources and time that is needed to get one to simply make that first step because it is all it takes, a first step, a leap uh, of faith. The great thing about investing and building wealth uh, as a foundation to your transformation is that it is tangible. Those milestones can be seen, they are goals, we need goals to develop ourselves and if they are financial, so be it. I prefer them being financial, I can touch them at least, you know. I'm a very different man today uh, than I was $20,000 ago. By the way, my book is out and it is free for the next five days. After that, it will be practically free at 0.99 cents. I can't uh, put it free on Amazon, they don't allow you to do that, but it is practically free at this price. It is called Becoming an Investor the First 100 Days and I hope it can be a good start for you. There is uh, one say, uh, by the way, uh, that I'd like to share with you from an unknown uh, source that stays with me. It is terrifying and it is the definition of hell. On your last day on earth, the person you became will meet the person you could have become. This is terrifying. Don't let that happen. I wish you a great Sunday ahead. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I really hope that it brings you some additional support on your own journey towards financial freedom. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss an episode and looking forward to your DM and follow on Instagram at New Investor Podcast. In the meantime, stay invested, be patient and keep playing the long-term game.